not be open. Cool. I have I, I have Miss Stack. She might be able to help. Um, okay. Or Mr. Bellatini. Hello, I'm Mike. I wanna, this Hello. is Mike. I'm Mike. Mike. I'm Chris. Chris. Mike. Mike's got a UFO video, and we're going to put it on a big screen, and then I'm going to make Mike cry, or I'm going to make Mike very very happy. Because if you have, if you have an honest to god UFO video, your life is awesome. You have just beaten thousands of scientists, hundreds of years of research, and you're going to win a standing reward from a really cool guy who has, a, a, there's, there's an off route. It's been very well established. He's vetted this guy does this stuff for serious. Really? Sure. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. He's, he's a really cool gentleman. Um, he's dead now, but his foundation would be very happy to pay you a million dollars if you can prove a UFO video. Yeah. If you can't, then what you did is shot a really crappy video on your cell phone and you thought you saw something that you didn't and I will endeavor to prove that you didn't. Yeah, what we have is something silent and it's measured by the supercomputers. What supercomputers? Where? Uh, it was, uh, well my buddy... Because I have a supercomputer. Okay, my buddy was retired in the Air Force. Okay. He took it to basically CIA. And they will. You know that the Air Force and the CIA are two totally different... I don't know, but he has friends and connections with them. Okay. And they have they, a supercomputer. They looked at it and... On their supercomputer. Yeah, and they, okay. they, they know all this stuff. This thing's performing and dynamic. Hey, there's a jet that okay. was coming in that almost crashed with it. They went... Mr. Bellatini, to the boardroom, please. Now, Walmart may have it on their... Outside cameras, I've talked to their corporate Security office. Security cameras don't point up, they point down. Yeah, but, but this points to horizon because they're way on a hill. Okay. And it may have caught it as it disappeared in the horizon. And it may have caught it coming in. Okay. When up. did you shoot this video? On the 6th of August at 10.03 p.m. You're exactly certain of that. It's on the phone. And it's when on I, the phone. And when I called the deputies, me, that phone. me and the deputies, Mary. me and this the sheriff is, deputy saw it. This is Mr. Bellatini. He's very smart and he does video for a living. Hello. There's a video file in this phone. I need the video file on that computer. Really bad. What connector does it have? Micro. Micro. Me and the sheriff deputy saw this thing at about 95,000 feet, about 40 minutes How away. do you know how high it was? Well, because it left orbit. I mean, it disappeared. It at went. what height does something achieve orbit? I don't know, around 100,000, 120,000. 120,000 feet is, is orbit? I don't know. Somewhere about a stratosphere, perhaps. How high is the stratosphere? I haven't checked, but I know it was double of an average commercial plane, which is about 50,000 feet. So it was about 100. Average right? commercial planes fly at about 50,000 About feet? 30 to 50. Okay. I, heard, I, I believe so. About 20 to 35. Is it? Okay, well, me and him, when he saw it, he'll vouch. He okay. saw it and said he never saw nothing like it. But okay. however, and that's entirely possible. This is this is what I believe. But this is high def, yes. This, this is high def. High def. And, I'm, and Facebook said Yes. Over. This is what I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe you shot a video. Mm -hmm. I believe that you shot a video of an object in the sky. I believe you shot a video of an object in the sky that is to you an unidentified flying object. I believe that you believe you shot a UFO video. Oh yeah. I also believe, and the amount of scientific data I have to back this up will blow your mind. Okay, good. good. That... You are the easiest human being in the world to fool. Everybody is. Okay? The easiest person to fool is yourself. Okay. And what there's this there's this really cool law. Uh -huh. Okay. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. Okay? Right. right. You can either demonstrate extraordinary proof, yeah. or you can. If you can. Man, the world is yours, and it's going to be glorious. And I will stand naked on top of Mount Rushmore with a Stratocaster and tell the world, Mike Brown got himself a UFO! I sure did. But if you can't, and you can't, this is going to end bad for you. Every time. Okay. There are, there are people on the internet it's full of crazy. There are people on the internet who will love this and promote this and rah, 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 and they don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. These people are not scientists. Yeah. I'm a scientist. Really? Really? All right. I'm like a for real scientist. Awesome. I'm even a scientist on the internet awesome. fighting the stupids. Awesome. So let's do this and prove it. Okay. Either way. Yeah. Because if you win, then you're going to go and you're going to win a million dollar prize by a gentleman who has, he's a very famous gentleman, he was a professional magician. 
Yeah. And he he intentionally set up a prize for a million dollars for the first dude who could in, in a, a bunch of different stuff. He does it for like for like uh, psychics and you know paranormal readers, all the paranormal stuff. Goes if you if you can prove to him that ghosts exist, you win a million dollars. And this is and lots of people have tried. Yeah, for a very long time. He has the safest million dollars in the world. Okay. Can you unlock the phone? Yeah, that's um, up and over. Just making a. Uh, Okay. Yeah, no, this was checked on a supercomputer, and they said, don't worry, they said, this thing is, that beam, yeah. they said, that thing is wider yeah. than a stadium, any yeah. stadium support okay. pole, don't worry about it, they said, this thing is like, let me see if I can, I, I, tell me everything you've done, you shot the video, Jump you know, you know exactly when and where, yep. which is awesome, yep. because, because you know exactly when and where, yeah. we can cross-reference yeah. celestial objects, yeah. we can cross-reference okay. all kinds of cool stuff, satellites, FAA, because these things move in predictable patterns, yep. and they keep really cool mathematical models of that, and there, there's even websites you can go to and say, was that the ISS? You say, well, where was the ISS on this day? You're not going to get that on the camera phone. And, it's, and it's not, it, it wasn't there, so you're cool. No, 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 no. Are we looking for August 20th at 8.33 a.m.? No, nope, you're looking for August 6th at 10.03 p.m. 2014. 2014. Yeah. Gotta go way back then. 2014. Yep. Yeah. And, uh... <sighs> Who yeah, they, the people that uh, the people that, I that looked at on supercomputer said that that beam coming down is performing a dynamic. Okay. They said it's basically okay. like a whirlpool. It's doing a what? It's performing a dynamic. It's, it's a whirlpool. Performing a dynamic. It's a whirlpool, and they said it's refracting. Okay. It's not reflecting. No, it's refracting. Okay. Light. It's very it's important. It's changing direction as it moves through air or water, right? Yes. That's what it's doing. Okay. It's so not a st but MUFON said I had a Dow Who? MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network. Better okay. on since They said I'm, I'm holding a Dowley. But okay. I mean that's not refracting. Well, we're, gonna, we're gonna check everything else. It's horrible. You guys have an alert there? It I is think. August sixth at ten. They're, they're trying to get to twenty fourteen. Go through twenty fourteen. Yeah, the oldest thing that I can find is July nineteenth, twenty fourteen. I do have a lot of it safe to the microchip. Well, my micro oh, SD card. Okay. It's micro, just, you know. Okay. Yeah. Does it come out? Does yes, you can pull that out, but will it erase anything? No. Or you no. Erase it? Save Steve, take yeah. the camera and I'll go get the card reader. Thank you. All right, so tell me the rest of the story. Okay. You shot the video. Yes. And then what happened? I. I panicked for like 40 minutes, I called my too. friend, and, told, and then I called 911, and I said, I shot, I, there's a UFO I shot overhead, and they go, well, we have to send the police out. They were there in three minutes. Okay. When they were standing out there, one was in the car, I said, look, I know a star from a plane, look up there, and I said, oh, there's there's something, but it was a jet moving with a star looking like it's moving. Okay. I go, oh, wait, what's that? He goes, I see it, and we watched a beam, of, or a little dot of light, way up there. I go, I see it. He goes, I see it too. I go, you guys, like, I got it. And for six seconds, this thing was going away, and all of a sudden, bam, disappeared. He goes, Did it just vanish? Yes, it just vanished. Like it was a little away. tiny white dot? Yeah. yeah. It was like the size of Venus going away from the Earth. Away. Okay. Okay. And it was it was moving straight away. Straight away. Almost, straight, almost straight 12 o'clock. Almost straight away. But you could detect it was going away. For six seconds, it took this long to, to, to travel. Okay. You know? And then... Boom! And he's like, whoa, and there's something like that. Was there a flash, an explosion, no. the sound? Like, it, it just, like, it it just went away. Like it went into a wormhole. Just went away. Okay. Yeah, that was it returning. I'm very sure. You sure? Seeing the crime. Okay. Did anybody else see the main event? No. Just you? Well, maybe the pilots in the plane, because those things, the jet, they, yeah. they, and I, I, one went over, one went under, or something. Okay. And you hear the jet rumbling in the video. Okay. So there was a jet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's Incoming. a good thing. Incoming That's just corroborating it, evidence. It had to have had it right in its window. Well, there. they have to be at the same height. They, they were. They were probably 300 yards to or from height difference. Or I mean, something happened. They almost. I, I knew. I, I had my phone on it. Okay. But NSA may have it, but I didn't have it videoing because I'm panicking. You know, video. Okay. Because it would not register on the face of the screen. Okay. Only the jet. So the, in the blink, blink, blink of the light going across. The only reason I caught it 
is I aimed it ahead of it at the mercury light. So as it passed by the mercury light, I knew it was probably in frame. Okay. And I was used to having the camera eye centered, but this was off center. I only had the phone for a week. So, I, so, so what happened after? Well, police came. Police came. They took off without even giving me a report. It took me weeks to, it took me months to get that actual report. They couldn't find it for a long time. Okay. Did you ever get the report? Yes, I did. Did you have to like FOIA it or something, or I, I paid like my six bucks and I got you FOIA it. Okay, okay, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So you have the report, but I don't have the report of seeing the dot. I've been trying to get. What's that. the police? Or, what's the reporter report up? Uh, the, the initial one. Yeah, the police. The initial, report. the initial one is um basically we responded. Uh, Mike Brown said he saw a light in the sky that almost collided with a jet airliner. And um, where were you exactly when you shot the video? I was right around four mile in Alpine. Okay, so were you on Alpine or were you? Like no, Alpine? I was on. Well, I was off Alpine. On four mile. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at, well, at that corner, I was at the northeast corner. Okay. The rising Sun corner. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Northeast corner. Really. Yes. And this thing went over Walmart. The hotel side. Uh, the same. Because if you're the opposite if you're, side of Walmart, you know, opposite you know, side of the road, the, the east side, the rising sun. Well, side. if it's at Alpine and, and four, four mile. mile mm -hmm. At the quadrant of the northeast corner. Yeah, so that's where the hotel is. Because uh, the other side of the street is the gas station. No, 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 you're down at three mile. Oh, okay. Four miles out by Pet Supplies Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah Petco or whatever. Yeah. It's up there by uh, Walmart, by McDonald's, okay. by uh, Subway. So you're up, you're Horizon. up there. All right. Yeah, this thing, this thing, uh, I detected it coming in from the Bissell area. Okay. And I thought it was Bissell's Bissell. over there. Right, well, whatever direction I am, right. Yeah, right. If you were right. Alpine, okay, yeah, it was coming in. And if you were at Alpine and Forma, yeah, on the northeast corner, yes, Bissell yeah. is yes. on the over south. On Walker west. Of Bristol, yeah, I know. yeah. So you off to the west. It was coming in, okay, from the southwest, going basically towards Cannonburg, the northeast. Okay, the jet was coming in from ZZM or the southeast, okay. right? So basically making an X, going over Walmart and heading up toward right. you know Petoskey or something. Right? Okay, okay, well. When this thing came in, I thought, man, this is a helicopter. Because yeah, I originally, yeah, when I came out, I saw the jet. And I'm like, man, that's going slow. The jet seemed to slow down. I'm like, is that a helicopter? Then I noticed this light coming in. It took... What color was the light? The light coming in was... was, was it would look like Venus coming in. Venus. What from color the, is Venus? Well, it's kind of whitish, maybe blue. Yeah, yeah. From the unaided eye from Earth. It okay, like so what color was the light you saw? I saw. Was it white? Mm, green? I, it was white. Red? It was white. It was white. It was very yeah. hard to focus. Was on. it white when it was coming uh, at you? It was still white. Did it change color when it went away? Uh, Did it change color as it went it, by? It, it, when it went, as it passed me, it seemed to have one beam. That's when we saw it. It kind of looked brown, like like a like a light. No, like what, what I'm wondering is, okay, but the thing was kind of starlight. This, this is my little airplane. Yeah. yeah. Can't we search if it's when it was oh, coming at you. Miles. Okay, so it went at you and then it went off to the side. Right. Okay, it came oh, directly. Right. And it went off to the side. Okay. Yeah. Left, was it left to right. when you were seeing it here? Was it white? And white. Then, then did it change colors to green or red when it was? No, green? but as it got closer, I noticed the brown beam a little more, but the rest was white. Okay. And it looked kind of like icicles. I broke your plan. Kind of icicles. Like icicles. Yeah, right. those are those things. This thing. That's that's where no matter how my camera's joggling, yeah, it does no flare. It never changes. No matter in the twenty three second video where you pause it, it looks entirely. Why did you only shoot twenty three seconds of video? Well, I got the prime part of it. Well, first of all, I couldn't get it coming in. I mean, not for nothing, but I carry a camera every time I know. I know. And I see a UFO. I'm know. rolling video until it's gone. Or I pass it. I know, it. but I know. Why do you? Why would you? Like a well, on right? the way, when, when I first one was coming in, like it's not in range. As soon as it became in range, where it got over like four mile, and let's say maybe it's a camera, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was my cell phone. You could see it, right? Yeah, I could see it. Okay, so since the camera works on light, if you could see it, what makes you think the camera couldn't see it? I, I wasn't too what confident. What is in range? Did well, you I have to wait for the whites of their eyes. Yeah, I wanted it to get in closer. I, I wasn't confident in my phone. My phone's a low end, cheap phone. Okay. So when it came in and I started filming, I got the prime of it, like the side views, it's going over, and then. I thought it wasn't coming in because it wasn't registering on my screen at all. Okay. So I just, I cast it down in frustration and I watched it till it got to like over near North Kent Mall and then I, I, I wrote it off. Okay. I should have done better. So, I you guys done having any luck over there? We are not. I'll we have a very hard video. time finding the old okay. file. It is August 6th, 2014. Right, but you've got like... 
folders within folders here. Um, Sorry. Yeah. Uh, what did you it record it with? Did you record I recorded it on the phone itself. With the phone's built-in camera? Actually? Yes, with the phone built-in camera on the camera setting. <laughs> and it, I was trying to get you know clicks of the uh, camera, but I don't think it, it did. Okay. It will be she August sixth at uh, ten three. I'm gonna put a lot in search budget. Now there's somebody who worked at NASA who saw this thing probably in Florida three days later. He's got video who? of it going away. Uh, he's so a good friend of mine on Facebook. He's uh, Richard. Okay. Richard Nolan. Uh, down here. Richard Nolan. And he worked at NASA. He did the investigation for Rendlesham. He's uh, a what? Rendlesham Forest over 1980. That sighting over there in the UK, the okay. Joint Air Base. What did he do for NASA? Uh. I have to find out what he did for NASA. Why does he work at NASA? He used to. Okay. He used to be also a policeman for uh, Tampa area. But for, there's there's thousands of people that work in hundreds of different places. And, for and he and he and he worked at MIT as a uh, as a, uh, a quantum physicist, a quantum a quantum yes, guy. Thank you. Quantum guy. And he and yeah and he's yeah. he's got that paranormal group that's following him on Facebook now. Um, okay. The people that chase the ghosts. He, he's a reliable guy. He does not lie. He's a real clean-cut guy. You know. Real clean-cut. He's a reliable guy. He believes this thing. Now, he saw it three days later, perhaps, because we look at mine and his, and they're almost the same, except his only shows it as it's going away. Okay. Mine has, like, the, the side okay. and all the bling. Yeah. Okay. So that'd be August 6, 2014. So that's like a little over a year ago. This thing, I've been trying to validate, but I've been getting kind of bad regards with I, you think? Yes, I, 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 I'm the only guy who has a follow-up report on MUFON that I found out of 10 that I checked that says um, basically there's some substantial, substantial point that it's basically not a UFO. But everybody else gets their good old, you know, to put their own report and there's nothing below it. Put their own report, what are you, whatever, nothing below it. Mine, big report, and theirs has a little kind of explanation. We have seen nothing that will say that this is a UFO, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's got some kind of disclaimer about it. Well, so far what you've seen is a light in the sky. You have the Dead really side. awesome advantage that you know the exact date, place, and time. Mm -hmm. And it's been measured. They measured the width of this beam coming out. Um, they said it's eight feet wide. And they said it expands to over... Who's they? Uh, the CIA supercomputer people that told the Air Force to retire. Did the CIA supercomputer people give you any kind of documentation, a piece of paper from the CIA supercomputer people that says, this is what we say? No. No, but have we'll you ever, discover. Have you ever dealt with the government before? Oh, yes. yes okay. Sure. Have, do you pay your taxes? And, and you've had a parking ticket? You ever had a parking ticket? Uh, you ever no. been to court? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you went to court, did they give you... Lots of pieces of paper every time you did anything. I guess they would. The entire government runs on pieces of paper. Paper trail. Okay. Yeah. You need a piece of paper from the supercomputer guy. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you can't tell me what supercomputer, <sighs> anybody's name, anybody's location, anything. Oh, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Yeah. I want some fucking evidence. No. Give me evidence. Give me data. You do that? Rushmore, naked, Stratocaster. I'm your buddy. Okay. They said, but I need yeah. data because otherwise somebody's fucking with you. They they want it. Really? We'll, we'll discover. Really? Yeah. I hope so we'll Think discover. Hard. We'll discover that this does Did you have pay words. them? No, 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 no money. No, I showed okay. this to an Air Force guy who saw something himself. So he's a real believer. He's okay. A, he saw something himself when he was up in the jets. A couple okay. times. That freaked them out. People are easy to freak out. Mm -hmm. And if you had any idea the amount of shit floating around our planet right now, you wouldn't sleep at night. Yeah. Okay. It's, it isn't just a couple satellites. There are, right now, not counting the thousands of registered flight-controlled aircraft moving around our planet right now. Yeah. There are thousands, not hundreds, not dozens, thousands of satellites. Satellites, yeah. And there are many tens of thousands of bits of... Junk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And people track yeah. this. Yeah. And this isn't. Oh yeah. This yeah, isn't yeah. like Skylabs. This is like paint chips. Yeah. Man. Track paint that. chips. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tens of thousands of them, and they bump into each other every now and then, and make tens of thousands more, more. instantly. Mm -hmm. This happens yeah. all the time. Yeah. If you want to put 
something from here to the moon. Mm -hmm. You have to fly oh, through all this. Yeah. It yeah. sucks. Yeah. And it takes smart people, supercomputers, to plan it out. To figure out how to get through that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that you don't die from a paint ship that yeah. happens to be traveling It'd at 17,000 miles away. Very hour. devastating on the ship. I think mm. that you believe you saw a UFO. Dead silent ship. I think that you didn't. And the amount of proof that I have that you saw a light in the sky. Yeah. Which could be anything. Mm -hmm. And if you want to make dead silent lights in the sky, I can do this tonight. I can show you how to make a thing that flies, makes no noise, absolutely dead silent, makes a beautiful light. It's kind of a brown light, okay? And it will go forever. It will go all the way up, not make a sound. This thing's giant. This thing's bigger than a football field. You don't know that. Well, yeah, they measured the beam coming out at eight feet wide. Really? Yes. Yeah, there that's it. it. Look, look at yeah, that full screen. Look at the mercury roof, right? Yeah. Let's, the, it's not a mercury roof. It's a mercury light. Well, mercury light. No, roof uh, let's see what we've got. That is a UFO. Boom. Where's the UFO? Right there. All of it. And it's got that, a beam. That thing that we're looking at yep. there? Yep. Okay. And that's a mercury light on the left. I pan down. Look at that. That thing is giant. That, that thing right there with the beam coming out the bottom? Yep. They said that that thing is performing like a whirlpool as it's going uh, in its direction, refracting light. You know exactly where you were standing when you shot this? Yeah, I know exactly where. I mean, within a meter GPS style, I know exactly. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. I need to go to the spot. We need to do real science. I need to be standing on the spot where you shot this video. Okay. Okay? Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, do you got contact information? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you leave your contact information with the front office. Okay. Because you and I are going to go to that spot, okay. like, tomorrow night, next night or two. I'm not going to do it tonight because it's going to be ugly, icky, nasty, hot. Okay. Uh -huh. Next night or two, okay. you and I are going to go to that spot yep. at... I don't know, we'll do it at like 10 o'clock at night, because I want it to be dark out. Want, what time of day did you shoot this? 10.03 uh, p.m. 10.03 p.m. All right, at 10.03 p.m. we're going to go to that spot. Okay. You shot this last August? August 6th. Okay, so now it's September, so it's pretty much the same time of year. Pretty much. You know, yes, late sir. summer. We're going to go to that exact spot at the same time of day, and we're gonna, I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring cameras. Okay. Okay. I'm not, you shot this on your little phone. I'm going to bring, I've got like $10,000 cameras. I'm okay. going to bring a for serious camera and a real tripod, we're going to go to that spot and see what we see. All right? Yes, sir. All right. It's a pleasure meeting you. Now, thank I want you, thank you. I want you to go to the front office. Do you give him his card back? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. All right. So we're going we're gonna to do science. We're going to get data. We're going to do an experiment. Okay. This is how it works. Thank you. Because I think mm -hmm. I know what's in that picture. Really? I can be wrong. What? I'm wrong. Uh -oh. All the time. Have to know what science, man. It's I'm wrong science. all the time. But you're going to leave your name, your phone number, yes, with this gentleman right here. All right. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to get a hold of you, and the next couple, it's, it's going to be next couple days. Okay. Good. We're going to get to, do you, are you cool for that time of day? Absolutely. Like, you don't have to be at work or anything? Absolutely. All right. Leave your name and contact information with him. Okay. I'm going to call you, and I'm going to say, tonight's the night. I'll give you a call at, like, probably 8 o'clock. I'll say, tonight's the night. Good. We're going to zoom over there. Go. And I'm going to bring a big-ass camera and a tripod and probably a few of my weirdo friends, and we're going to see if we can figure it out. It's working. Okay, we're doing something. My name's Mike. My name's Chris. Chris, I know. All right. All right, Chris. All right. Contact. I'll Thank you. Thank you. Buddy? Oh, my dear. Okay. Yeah? You were on that side. Okay. So what you got going on, Batman? You got a spring and a pipe. Mostly. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? Jamaican. Continuation of the platforms and then stuff for roofs. Cool. So this is the material for the plugs? Yeah, but those are coming whenever I get that's fine. That that material is perfect. Mm -hmm. 
What are you making, sir? I am trying to recover some casters for another project. Oh, cool. Clean up the threads and then we can reuse them. Okay. <sighs> so, so far today I have battled UFO Dude. I just got back from Vibrations Crystal Hippie. That was fun. And now I get to do like real work in the high voltage lab. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see what the gang's got going on. What you doing, Mr. Bellatini? All right, I'll be I'll be there in just a few minutes. <sighs> Kelly's here Hello. with Stevie the Wonder Dog. Hi. You kids having fun? Oh yeah. Are you all excited about Big Parade? Hail. Moose is playing with Goop. You have Goop. Is this the test on the new stuff? Or is it that looks like a Lumalite? It's a Lumalite. We got new molds, SOP, you test the mold. Yes, okay. Um, we have kids coming in a minute. For what? Uh, it's a Christian science camp. Okay. They are three D printing with Jerry. Cool. And uh, he is getting all set. Them. Okay. Fun. I think it was like five oh, that's easy. Hi. I like your giant mouse. Thank you. It's a dog. It's a dog, huh? Looks like a mouse to me. Okay. Also, we have a lot of your mail today. Cool. All right. Um, I just got back from Vibrations Crystal Hippie. That went really well. I fixed, I fixed your negative energy. Uh, I would like you to know I sold the positive vibes. To a blog viewer? Yes. Who? Aziz. Aziz bought it. Okay, now I got two reasons to be mad at him. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna do the promo for the studio. I eat my cupcake. You, I don't get cupcakes because she's a racist. I'll be back. Black cupcakes matter. Black cupcakes matter. Someone's butt hurt on the internet! I know! Go through the comments of yesterday's blog. <laughs> oh my god. No, you'll die. Maybe, I don't know, I just approved a comment. Um, yeah, it'll be in that one probably. But you'll know it when you see it. That one right there. Floppy hairs. He told me. Yeah. Matt, you get to decide who the winner is. Oh my god. Paul, someone's butt hurt on the internet. Oh, big one. <laughs> so, I actually used that at a factory one that we were working at. People had no idea if that word existed. Butt hurt? Yeah. You're like an authority. Get it? That was a, that was a gay joke. That was... Yeah. <laughs> I've decided you get no prizes for being pedantic on our blog. I didn't say he's the winner, but I'm going to let Matt decide to be the winner. I don't care. i got to go do the promo thing. The promo thing? The recording studio. Look, they got lights and everything. You should, you should look at the pile that is forming for viewer mail behind the desk. What the hell is that? Oh, is that your cutter? Yeah. Okay. Now you just gave away the surprise for viewer mail. They were gonna know in ten minutes their time anyway. We're not live. They won't. They won't see this until tomorrow. So the live people still get the surprise. I totally ruined the surprise for you guys. I'm, I'm all broke up over that. Floppy hairs is gonna like piss and moan now. Crazy. 
guys start from your question? So.
It's okay, it would take you a lot of drugs and hard living to get to what an old flea looks like. So that's you've got that going for you. Alright, so that's everything. What else do you need? A call to action. Okay. So, what we're interested in doing is communicating the concept of what we're doing here to as many people as we can get to sit still for 30 seconds and listen, and get you involved. We need your help. We want to build an amazing recording studio unlike anything anybody else has ever done with a truly unique purpose. So help us get more people inspired and educated in the world of science and engineering as it pertains to music production. We want to make more people into good audio engineers. We want to get them recording and producing, mixing and mastering, all that jazz here at the Geek Group. You can go here, look below, you can, you can go here, right there, and contact us in any way. Please contact us right here with how you want to get involved and what you can do to help us bring this awesome recording studio to a productive fruition. Thank you. Bitches. Did Moose ever mention anything specific to list in the call to action? Oh. Did you ever mention anything specific to list in the call to action? Like what? Anything specific? Like how we would most like them to help. I don't know if we want to say, like, give us money. Because ah. we haven't straight up said, give us money. Word this how you like. If you're interested in participating, we can provide you with a brochure that shows you all of the different ways it's most needed. Okay. If you're interested in participating in this, please contact us here. We would be happy to send you a brochure in how you can help us in the ways that it is most needed. to see how long we hold that. Until the red light stops blinking. Because you look angry. <laughs> <laughs> Please contact us here. What, what's the line? Um, for a brochure that will provide the ways that you can help that is most needed. Please contact us here for a brochure so that we can fuck you in the ass. A brochure. Sorry, I have a demon. Um, a brochure of ways yeah, that a you can help. Yeah, a brochure with a list of ways in which you can help. Please contact us here, and we would be happy to send you a brochure that covers all the ways in which you could get involved in ways that would help us fuck. Please contact us here, and we would be happy to send you a brochure that has a list of all the ways that you can get involved and what our specific needs are. Thank you very much. I'm Chris. That's Will. That's Joe. And Will, as... And, <coughs> this is so close. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate my job. Thank you very much. My name is Chris Bowden. This is Joe, and this is Will, and we love you long time. Yes. Oh, God. Thank you Fight very much. Well, <laughs> just fuck you. I'm gonna do it just to mess with you guys. <laughs> this is Larry. This is Mo. Yeah. I'm curly. See you next Thank time. you very much. My name is Chris Bowden. This is Will. This is Joe, and they are awesome. Thank you very much, and as always, we'll see you next time. I can make something of that. God, I hope so. This is why we have good editors. We have a editor. <laughs> Just so happens to be good. Stop on blue. Hmm. This is funny. I take off my mic in Studio B. I walk out the door into Studio C. And go on live television. <laughs> Here, I'm handing that off to you. I, I, All hands, viewer mail, viewer mail, viewer mail. I just dropped something. I don't know what it was. It's not there anymore. It's under the room, whatever it was. It was probably very expensive you, important. You, you didn't need it that bad. I don't know that. It might have been, could have been a button or a tooth or something. I don't know. I haven't viewed mail in a long time. That's been a problem for me. Yeah. Because you had a birthday. I did. So now you only get half a birthday. Can you tell editor to switch, please? Half a birthday is what I always get. 
You're lying. Does it suck having, like, as a twin, having a birthday? Because you have to share something? My birthday is December 20th. I have to share it with a twin and Jesus. Oh, there is that. Well, Jesus wasn't born on the 20th. Yeah, it's close enough. So you, end up, you end up getting those combination... Yes. Yeah. I wonder what the line is. Comment in. I want to know, what is the line for your birthday when, if, like, when, when the event horizon of Christmas? Where is the event horizon for Christmas? Both previous and past, where you, you get out of that range of birthday Christmas combination presents. Because I, I have the perfect birthday. My birthday is May 31st. So I have like birthday, Christmas. Birthday, Christmas. So I'm yeah, like but on the extreme. I'm sure I know you had the same problem that I always did, where anything you want to do is close. Everybody is out of town. They're all barbecuing somewhere else. I, I didn't have any friends, so like no. it, it birthday for me was like new matchbox car. I think it falls within two weeks of Christmas. Yeah, so we got it's, it's a function of all right. So it's time for viewer mail, and I'm gonna do this one first. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to sit on that one for a minute. Alright, so, this is from Amazon. I don't know. Alright. Giant. We've had five delivery vehicles here today. There's a giant styrofoam block up my butt. So Monday. It's from Warren Johnson! No, it isn't. It always says Warren Johnson, but I know that Warren Johnson is actually Joe Johnson, is actually the Cheshire Cat, also known as Crash Cart. And it's 12 of something. Maybe it's so fun. Lords of Leaping. Is that what 12 is? Lords of Leaping? Mm -hmm. I can never remember it without doing it in order. I put that on the wish list. Twelve of them? <laughs> it's cheaper to buy twelve of them. And we wear through them fast. It's just a stock thing. It comes in a case of twelve. Yeah. You need twelve of these? That's the kind of thing you buy one and you have it till you die. Walking Not in a commercial building. Toilet brushes are like luggage and herpes. You just, you get one, you have them forever. Not in a commercial building. Have you seen what I like that these have the, the prostate Are, are you aware them. that in this Jeez, building uh, we have some super poopers? Twelve? I'm kind of, kind of disturbed that's, by that. That's, that's about a year's worth right now. The thing that I find interesting is there are so many items on our wish list right now, and Joe thought that that was I want to know why they what to send. Scooping. So I have this box, wow, which is heavy and full of fun sounds. Who's this from, Moose? Steven Winterhalter. Steven Winterhalter. Good Irish kid. Local member who we love and adore. Helps us get some particularly interesting things from time to time. Oh, you know it's good, because it comes with its own Allen wrench. And a stick. And a T-bar. Don't forget the bolts. Oh, I won't forget the bolts. It is the Model 858 Perfect A4 Sheet Paper Cutter. Yeah. I think you can even get a, a stand for it. But this is a big, beefy, like this, this cuts reams of paper. 
And after years of having to suffer under the oppression of the nastiest paper cutter in the world, which we drugged through four different labs, I said, we got that out of Site G, didn't we? Out of the paper mill? Yep. Yeah. So this is way more better. And there will be a blog of this, so thank you, Steve. This is way cool. Batman, take this. I even give you this part. Thank you. I did not expect it to be what was on the box. <clears throat> Okay, and these go with it. Because this is a little alignment thing and this is the shifter. Thank you, sir. You'll learn. This is from Joe Johnson. Now, why does it say Joe Johnson and this one, Warren Johnson on the other one? There's, there's a thing. I think he's committing identity theft and stealing his dad's credit card. That's what I'm going to Oh, thank God. Oh, Joe. Oh, see, it says Warren inside. Oh, I'm so happy. You don't know. Oh, we got dykes. We got dykes. Use it, though. This is how Sky. I use the dykes to open the dykes. And then I'll use these dykes to open these dykes. And if somebody doesn't make a 69 joke out of that, I don't know what it takes. You'll understand when you're older, okay? Well, it's like, what does that have to do with probably time? never will, but there's always hope. So, <laughs> all right. One pair goes to high voltage. One pair goes to aeronautics. The other two can go to your collection. Okay. They're gonna all end up in the drawer anyway. Label them appropriately. We discussed this earlier today. I can dream. That is so cool. Thank you, Joe. That is from our Canadian visitor. Oh, I'll wait till they're they're not here at the moment, are they? She's not here. We went to lunch. Okay, I'll wait. Where's she at? She's not feeling well today. Yeah, I'll bet she's not feeling well today. Gonna spend the day in arts and crafts making lifters, cause she tri yeah yeah. You get her ass here. I'm just not feeling well today. I'm not feeling well today. My, I'm, I have no lift. Yeah. Yeah. I want her ass here. This is a flashlight. This is from Ed, who donated a flashlight because love. And it has, what was the, it was a weird battery. Lithium iron. Yeah, it was, it was lithium and cheese or something. I don't know, but it was an interesting battery. And it's a really cool flashlight. I don't know if it's short, but I'll try. Put it on the cow. Yes, you can you can project in such a way where you can actually see the element. Like normal flashlights, you just get fuzzy light, but this will come out enough to actually bring it into focus, which is kind of cool. It's doing really it is an XML T6. Weird things. And while I'm thank you, Ed, by the way, and while I'm talking about flashlights. You don't get where are you? Come here, you. You don't get a flashlight because Harvey hasn't replenished the stock. But you do get your Leatherman. Yay. Congratulations on your birthday. Thank you. And one of these? You get one of these. Hey. <laughs> Happy birthday, Well, His birthday was like Monday. It was Monday. Last week. Last, last week. week. Last Monday. And every time we've done viewer mail, because it's, viewer mail is kind of sporadic, are on days when he's off playing in one of the three bands he's in. This is actually, this is Will, who is one of the Will and Joe team. And he does music in a big way. The recording studio is him and Joe, and the radio station, and the harem garden, and all that. They, they take care of this. He used to run on Linux, but now the harem runs on Unix. It's in the poppy plants. It's in the poppy plants, yes, they tend to those. But, you play in three different bands that are all actively doing, you know, you're gigging. Yeah. All three bands. Yeah. Now, you play in, uh, let me see if I get them all right. Limited engagement, temporary engagement. Temporary arrangement. Temporary arrangement. And in that, what do you play? Uh, guitar and drums. Okay. I'm switching on and off. With the, so at the same time. There's two guys in the band who play guitar and drums and you just trade places. Yeah, because we write songs. So whenever I write a song, then I'm on guitar. And he writes a song, he's on guitar. And okay. Just take turns. And the other bands you play in are, uh, oh god, I had them and now they're gone. Alright, what are the other bands you play in? Sack Squatch and Bridge Band. Alright. 
and Cascadia. Okay, so is, what do you play in Sax Squatch? Uh, drums. Okay, and it's, we're not saying it wrong, it's Sax Squatch, and you should see the logo, it's on his Facebook page. The, <laughs> the, the, the front man is a very, very large man, looks like Sasquatch, and he plays a saxophone. Is his name Nate by any chance? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know a guy in case it Yeah. So, what do you play in that band? Uh, drums. Okay. And then you play in Cascadia? Yes. And? Bass. Bass. Yeah. So you're playing three different instruments in three different bands, yes. and they change around, Yes. and you're here full time, yes. building a recording studio. Yes. So you're kind of into music a little bit. Uh, a little, just, just a touch. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you have a Leatherman, which you can get a, a drum tuning key. To I was going to say, that'd be pretty it's, it's a handy drum. There's, you can get, it goes on the screwdriver mm -hmm. in here. You can get a thing that goes on there, and it's, uh, it'll fit for a drum wrench. That would be super convenient. Here to help. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you. And the whole internet loves you. Thank you. Hey! Those are for the lab. These are for the lab? Okay. Because I'm like, you got, you got stuff in here. So somewhere there needs to be a t-shirt made up where there needs to be a joke on a t-shirt that has something to do with the harem used to run on Unix, spelled Unix, but now runs on Linux. It just needs to be a thing. The Linux harem. It's too funny not to. What is this? Reject pack? Are they like misprints and stuff and they sell them? Because really Bicycle does that. I think they thought it was too extreme the first time and they're like, eh. Okay, let me see if we got, we got cards against me. Okay, they all look. Okay, they all look fine. This includes in white cards. My dick in your mouth, corn, Car Caribbean Jesus, super yoga, ladies with a picture of a ladle. I don't know what ladle ladies are. I don't want to know. Ejaculating a pound of tinsel, which is my new favorite card. A heart that is two sizes too small and that therefore cannot pump an adequate amount of blood. <laughs> the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. <laughs> That's funny. Dividing by zero. Second time, but we had, we had a dividing by zero. Will and I. Yeah. Playing an ocarina to summon ultra congress from the sea. Asshole pomegranates that are hard to eat. Becoming so rich that you shed your body and turn to vapor. Faking a jellyfish sings. That's like my Friday night. Faking a jellyfish sting so someone will pee on you. Sexy, naked, interactive theater thing. A giant squid in a wedding gown. Crawling into a vagina. So the black cards... Oh, that's, that's the best ever. All right, I'll save that for last. So the black cards include, you can't wait forever, it's time to talk to your doctor about... Crawling into a vagina. The Westboro Baptist Church is now picketing soldiers' funerals with giant signs that read, God hates blank. What two cards in your hand that you want to get rid of? <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. The elders of the Ibo tribe of Nigeria recommend blank as a cure for impotence, crawling into a vagina. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare for blank. From WBEZ Chicago, it's This American Life. Today on your program, blank. Stay with us. Somebody in here has been way into NPR and it's awesome because just the job you can get, yeah. Sir, we found you passed out naked on the side of the road. What's the last thing you remember? <laughs> and then the single best black card I have ever seen. What do you see? And that's all it says. It's just, it's a Rorschach drawing with what do you see? I think you found today's contest. Yes! All right. Captain's blog contest of the day. What do you see? I like Rorschach drawings. It's, it just freaks me out. Like, people are like, what's a Rorschach test? Don't you know a Rorschach test? It's the guy who's got all the pictures of my parents having sex. 
No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Cards Against Humanity, 90s Nostalgia Pack. Ed, this is, this is a good, good find. Wow. <laughs> All the cards are just wild. <laughs> Alright. Now see, this has rejects. It's got hickeys all over it and the corners chewed up. See, that's, that's a printing screw. Siskel and Ebert have been blank as poorly conceived and sloppily executed. Up next on Nickelodeon, Cla Clarissa explains blank. I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm a blank. How did Stella get her groove back? I don't know what that one means. <laughs> Believe it or not, Jim Carrey can do a dead on impression of blank. It's Morphin Time. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, and blank. Tonight on Snick, are you afraid of... I don't get that at all. All right, white cards. Snick. Saturday night? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Are you afraid of the darkness? No. Well, yeah, I know that. See, that was, that was after my time. All right, ready? White cards. Deregulate the mortgage market. The Y2K bug. Wearing Nicolas Cage's face. Stabbing the shit out of a Capri Sun. Kurt Cobain's death. Freeing Willie. Which I don't know why, but makes me think of Batman. Liking big butts and not being able to lie about it. Also Batman. The Great Cornholio. Oh, that's, yes! that's totally Jerry. Pure Moods, Volume 1. Oh, God. <laughs> Yelling girl power and doing a high kick. That's Moose. Pamela Anderson's boobs running in slow motion. That's it. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. That's all of us. Yeah. Angels interfering in an otherwise fair baseball game. Getting caught, oh God, getting caught up in the crossfire. Patty Mayonnaise. I don't get that one. Doug. Huh? Doug. Who's his girlfriend? Doug is a TV show. Yeah. And it is Saturday morning. This is definitely from the Blues Clues thing we were doing a minute ago, right? Okay. Yeah. Is it just a girl you lusted after? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool 90s up in the front hair. No, that's an 80s kid thing, because you don't even know. I, I have seen BANGS! So Why are you pointing at me? Because <laughs> you're, you're, you're older than me, so that totally makes you an 80s kid. Shut up. Several Michael Keatons. Yes. <laughs> A bus that will explode if it goes under 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Sucking the president's dick! Mr. President? <laughs> yes! Log! <laughs> Rolls downstairs. Shut up. <laughs> Jerking off to a 10 second real media clip. Oh. Yep. <laughs> a mulatto. An albino. A mosquito and my libido. Sunny D, all right. <laughs> so I know we're doing Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Game night's gonna be awesome this week. Okay. Ed, good job. Good job. This is weird. I've got I got a production pad and I got a deck of cards and I just want to do things. These are terrible cards for that. <laughs> They really are. They've got a rider back and everything, but just Here's the there's story. no bevel edges. Huh? Here's the I can do that. And I'll have you know for a fact that that's your card. If anybody ever asks you, ejaculating a pound of tinsel is your card. Wildly appropriate. What's next? That's it! For viewer mail. That's every no, there's something else. What? That's the that's Canadian. Canadian. This is oh, I'm not doing the Canadians until they're here. They will wait, because I want them to be able to enjoy some sharing the experience. All right, cool. Thank you to everyone who made your mail possible today. This is a particularly fun one. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. We'll be back. And this is where it gets really cool. Are you ready for this? We'll be back after this. Quinn's Vape Supply is your source for high-quality e-cig products. Exotic fruit flavors to traditional tobacco flavors and everything, everything in between. between. There's an e liquid for everyone. Quinn's Quinn is also the exclusive supplier of the Chris Bowden Signature Series. Not sure which flavors for you? Check out one of the Flavor, flavor Flights for a sampling of different flavors. 
All e-liquids have customizable nicotine, nicotine levels ranging from 0 to 24 milligrams, so you can control how much nicotine, nicotine you're vaping. Quinz is an authorized Inakin dealer, and they carry a variety of e-cigs and accessories. Quinz has everything you need to vape exactly how you like. Quinz Vape Supply is exclusively online, and they offer priority mail shipping for all domestic orders. So head on over to QuinzVapeSupply.com. That's Q-U-I-N-N-S VapeSupply.com and start vaping right today. Um, we can nudge the window up to it. It would have to be directly against it, which it cannot do because the window is on a ledge. You are correct. I guess it's our black shield. Hope the cameras make it. Yes, ma'am. We are a bigger target than the cameras. All four wheels steer. You gotta be on this side of the deal. Is bad. All right, let's move this over here for us. Yes, that's what we are doing. All right. Yeah.
Three, two, one, two. We're going to be on the same rhythm. Yes. Attention all hands. Comfort test will be commencing. Yeah, it'll be the fourth beat, but it'll be three, two, one, boom. Yes. And the three count will be on that. So you're not going to say it? I'm not going to say it, I'm just going to do it. Okay, everybody ready? not going to work as a mag light anymore. And we melted the aluminum body. Mm -hmm. I like how the glasses just popped out slightly. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, let's do a big one. I'm, All right. I'm afraid of the way the big one's going to fly. That's neat as hell. You got a lot of sparks on the thing. Yeah? I want to see the video. That's going to look cool.
说。from it is just so cool. It's like when you're oh, this, one you can see, this one you can see it leaving the stand. <laughs> Hopefully we got it falling. But it just went <laughs> It's a lot of smoke. Yeah. I think I'm going to up it to a thousand frames for the last one. I like the streaks that the sparks are causing. Come on, fall. <coughs> I don't know if the edgotronic caught it falling back down. <coughs> it may have been just over too far for the edgotronic to yeah. get it. But yellow may have gotten it on the slightly faker <laughs> slow mo. It's real slow mo. Sure. It's just interpolating. It's real slow mo, like Pinocchio is a real boy. Oh, I mean, right. sad. That movie has relevance to my. Hit play, let me see it.
smoke rings before, I just never had one like that. That is so cool. What size bag are those? Uh, the big ones take D's. You go right through D's. Three. three. Well, we would we'd need bulbs for them anyway. I got to send somebody home to put. Uh, okay, then we'll make a note to do a pickup then. All right. There's one little spark just slowly dying. Well, I mean, that's really quickly dying. All right. So what's next? The Christmas ball. How the hell am I gonna hook? Okay. It's got a. It's got power. Oh yeah, totally. It's got yeah. Yeah, all be, kinds of yeah. electricity going on. Yeah, be fine, no problem. I, yeah, I got this. I figured you'd no problem. I figured you'd what strip it and wrong? disconnect it. What could go wrong? <laughs> they're what? plastic spikes. Bunch of lo no, they're glass, little explodey bits. Oh well, yeah, the bulbs are. Glass. Well, yeah. yesterday you saw me filming this, and you said, "Oh, that looks interesting." So yeah. I assumed it was kosher. Oh, it's it's totally fine. No problem. <laughs> We got a box of light bulbs we could thump instead. I believe that's why they why we have them. We do light bulbs, we have to do a bunch and set it to the eighteen twelve overture. Okay. <laughs> this one's a thousand frames, because why not? The flicker's not that pronounced at least. Steven? 
Don't play with the thing that we only have Don't one. Don't play with the captain's balls. Really prickly. You think? Boop. That's you could even cool. see where the contacts were in that shot because it's moving slow enough. That's cool. All those smoke rings. There's a couple of them that just went. Oh. Uh. All right. You're on blog cam in between because all you have to do is push a button. Your battery's about to die. Yeah? Yeah. Stop the clip and give me another battery. Where's my big screen blade screwdriver that looks like? It's on the table. Which table? The table we have the computer on. Ah. I need a new big straight blade screwdriver. This one's all chewy. Sucks. Put one on the wish list. Mm. We're not rolling on red or that yet, are we? What? I did it in a pretty way for video. Spinning things are usually pretty. Because art. It's like half of what I do. Is it pretty? No. Spin it. Is it pretty? Yes. Spin it more. <laughs> that is some gummy wire. <laughs> Finest Chinese Christmas decorations. Uh, this is definitely some Guilong Ding Dong. Yeah. I can't even criticize because Guilong is actually a Chinese word. So is Ding Dong, but they charge extra for that. Handles made out of cheese. I want to send this to AVE and let him review this crappy screwdriver. Can you model your hands for posing while screwing your wire in? What? It might move. He's just getting prepared. He wasn't doing anything. I was going to move after two seconds. Calm down. That's actually not a bad idea. Have the blog viewers send in a little Christmas ornament for something. We really want to start that YouTube board again. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I want everybody behind the black shield on this one, or at least behind stuff is solid. I don't know what it's going to do, but there's a lot of little pieces and a lot of glass. What? Did you hear any of that? No. Get behind something when it's going to go off.
Okay, ready? touch it. Whole bunch of bulbs fell out the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to yes, try to keep my blog camera out of his shot. What are you doing? I'm staying out of the way. Come here. You can hold the blog camera. Something did happen, it was just very subtle. It needs to just keep falling off. Hold it towards Steve. What? <laughs> I was talking to Chris. Electrically, the wire held. What this is, is a whole bunch of bulbs wired in series. That's it. It's just a whole string of Christmas tree lights in series. And what we just did was overvolt, exceedingly overvolt, all the bulbs. And a lot of them just shattered as a result of that. 
So that one wasn't as cool as it could have been. If we did the exact same thing with a much higher voltage, this would be catastrophic. But we'd have to be able to jump the arc distance and all of these, and the whole thing would just rip apart and explode. But we'd need to be able to dump, like, if we dumped 30,000 volts into it, it'd get exciting fast. But we'd need to use one of the giant caps to do that, and dump, like, 50, 60,000 into one of those. What if we just got a shorter string of lights? Maybe. Because uh, the standoff insulation of this stuff is only a few thousand volts. I'm sure it's only rated for like 300. It's kind of cool. Still got something out of it. It'll be neat to see what we get in footage. All right, is that it? For today, for blowing up. Okay, cool. Just as me. Yay. I don't mind walking in it, I just mind the sound when I'm trying to shoot here. I'd rather you didn't walk in it so I could shoot those. So thank you for brushing. Oh, don't worry. They're all together. Yeah. Just re sprinkle it. Threading is fine, o ring seals are still intact. Bulb retention rate is still fine. Three brand new batteries. Try to do this So there's a lot of really sharp pokey bits. Thank you. 
all seals are intact. Just to be certain, it is not the light's fault. The bulb is locked. Can you give me a bulb that isn't burned up? Maybe. Thank you. Truth works. Moment of truth. We would like to thank Mag Instrument in Ontario, California for making such a quality piece of equipment. 